guys. All right, we're looking at a different artist today, an artist named Android Jones. This guy's a super psychedelic artist. He's kind of in the realm of uh, Alex Jones, I mean, uh, Alex Gray, and uh, some of these other guys. So he's he's an artist with a capital A. Um, but he, he was one of the artists that I came across on the Massive Black forums back in the conceptart.org days. Uh, you know, if you're into this sort of thing, maybe you know what I'm talking about, but he started as a concept artist for games and movies, I think, and then he went off and did his own thing. And I really love his work because his work is so experimental and it's so unique. You can really tell that he's, he's playing around with different mediums. He's playing around with different ways it is that he can, that he can use shapes and things like that to express himself and I think the way that he explores with his shapes and, and the way he does things is something that can be really uh, useful for any artist even though most of this channel is comic art because I am primarily a comic artist right now um, I do like looking at just pure design so we're gonna flip through some of these pieces and yeah, I mean, right off the bat, I mean, this one looks crazy because it looks like some sort of, it looks like 3D, but it may also be some sort of a brush or something that he's using that's creating all of this interesting texture and interesting shapes. He, he has a motive, motif of doing a lot of shamans. We'll see a lot of shamans in his work. I don't know if this is going to be a good, you know, this resolution is not that good, but let's, let's actually skip that one because the resolution is not good. This is much better. I mean, look at something like this. This is awesome. I imagine a lot of stuff that's like AI has been trained off of his work because uh, it's just, it kind of has that vibe, you know, when you see like the super psychedelic stuff. But there's a lot of this, you know, there's a lot of uh, skull cracking open with the spirit coming out, that sort of thing. I love that he looks like he's incorporated mushrooms into this. Yeah, it looks like, that's what it looks like anyways. But you can tell that he's, he's really having fun with the medium and he's playing with, he's playing with so many different things, right? Really cool. This is his old logo design, and I just think it's so dope. Because, um, I mean, it just feels like... It feels very artistic. Very good, very good use of design. So his stuff falls much more on the, on the graphic design side of things. The work that he does. But again, I mean, you can see the... The level of depth and creativity that he puts into this. I love like images within images. And you've got the swirling heads of Buddhas up here. And you've got stuff over here too. It's really cool. I'm going to have to look up something and see how he's doing these pieces because I, I just really enjoy his work so much. This is awesome. Yeah, I mean, going and, and taking images of nature and changing them like this or seeing something like this, it makes you realize that if you want to do, like if you did a landscape in this kind of style, that would be really interesting. Even if you did like some comic stuff in that style, that would be really cool too. Now, I'm always curious to how you can take these different elements of things and make them work for you in a way that uh, gives you like a really unique result. Again, we have a lot of like shaman heads or the heads of gurus and things like that. This one I love because you can get a you have a strong read when you look at it from far away and you see that it's his the orange uh, robe 
around around this figure but then as we get closer we see characteristically the same sort of thing we see in a lot of Android Jones's work which is a lot of characters walking around a lot of detail whenever we get close to it and so this orange robe has become a crowd of people Yeah, I mean, this is the sort of stuff that feels very much like Alex Gray. Which, if you haven't seen Alex Gray stuff, I have done a art of Alex Gray on this channel as well. I'll go ahead and put it in the cards. And uh, yeah, I mean, there's there's the obvious play here of cool and warm colors that he's playing off of. And then you could say the green figure in the middle is kind of like the median, the median in terms of the color temperature. And yeah, he, he just has some unbelievable stuff. Like I said, he has to be using some sort of a brush to be getting these different kinds of effects. Again, just beautiful, beautiful work. Yeah, I love the use of all these different colors and but also keeping the it's digital but it, it's also keeping to this kind of psychedelic aesthetic. I think this is a picture of him and his wife. It's another beautiful image. I think we got a couple more here and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off. He also does like these live events where he does like live paintings and stuff like that. And I think this is one of them right here. So yeah, really cool. This is more of his graphic design-y kind of work that he does. Very cool. I think I might have to do studies of his work at some point. One more. Yep. We'll go ahead and end it on this on his logo here. Uh, but yeah, actually, one of the reasons why I, I put this up was uh, because Android Jones, his studio recently got uh, recently burned down. I think it was actually about six months ago. Um, I think there was some sort of a crowdfunding thing going on or something like that. Anyway, if you want to support him, I put the links to. All of uh, all of his social media and his store and whatnot in the description and so you can check them out and uh, thank you guys for watching tomorrow I'll be back with another artist and uh, thanks have a good night